Hi there boys and girls, it's Edward here, Minister at Penningham St John's and you're about to go on holiday for the Easter break and so I thought what I would do uh, this time is take you on a car journey for a few minutes and explain to you why we have in the church Easter which the Christians will celebrate and why that means you'll get a good holiday. You ready? Let's go. first thing I want to do today is think about some of the senses that most of us will have. Uh, here's the first sense we can think about. It's our sense of hearing. And we're out here in the wood of Cree and I want you to hear the noise. Absolute silence. I'll put down the window. I can only hear the water. Yet, do you know, this place is filled with sound. There's music out there, there's people speaking out there, but I'm not able to listen to them. But I know they're out there because I've got something in this car that helps me listen. struggling with my beans on toast or my pasta and she would be giving the dog a tray with kind of you see there's music there there's people speaking out there my car is only picking it up it's picking up sounds that my ears cannot hear but once I show you it's there, then it's out there. You just kind of hear it. Let's move on to the next sense. Now, here in the middle of the forest, let's use our sense of sight. When you look around in here, what you would maybe think is it's just green and it's brown, full of dead leaves. Until you stop and pay attention and then you see it's not just dead leaves. Here's yellow in amongst all the green, the brown and the grey. And this yellow is a flower that's living in amongst all the leaves that were dead. The next sense we're going to think about is a sense of touch. Let's touch something which is invisible. Sometimes you don't even hear it. It's the air around about us. How can you feel air with a sense of touch? Well, don't hit the person next to you. But if you wave your hand fast, you can feel the air all across your fingers. The same air you're breathing in and out. Now I want to tell you about something important that had sight, sound and touch and it's called Easter. Many centuries ago, thousands of years ago in fact, God's people had many leaders who told them how they were to live and what God was like but they also told them an amazing promise that God would send a special leader someone you would call God's son and when God's son came Jesus it was interesting because lots of people didn't like what Jesus said in fact we still find that today people who have lots of power on earth tend not to like sharing that power or giving it up and one of the things that Jesus said is 
power, if you have it, needs to be shared because the ultimate power comes from God alone. So, maybe not surprisingly, but certainly sadly, the people who had power 2,000 years ago, once they heard Jesus talking about God and about why we are alive, they decided the best way to sort him was to kill him. And so Easter is a time in the year when Christians remember that bad people put Jesus to death. Now, they didn't hang people so much back then, but they put them on crosses and left them there to die. It was called crucifixion. And that's what they did to Jesus. They then placed his dead body in a tomb. But the Christians said three days later, Jesus was alive again, that God had put life back into him. And that's called the resurrection. And that's what we celebrate on Easter Sunday. And the disciples said, and we've been thinking about these senses, they got to touch Jesus. They got to see Jesus. They got to hear Jesus. They used all the senses that you and me have in order to see that with God, death itself doesn't need to be the end. Without the help of the radio, we would never hear the music that's in the air or the people who are speaking. Without paying attention with our eyes, we would never see the small flowers in the field. Without waving our hands through the air, we would never feel and be able to touch the air. And so it is with Jesus that without him, we would have no knowledge that there could be a life after this one. And he's the one at Easter that helps us see that in fact there is. Death itself doesn't need to be the end. And that's the great hope of Easter that Christians have. One day we will all have to die. But because of Christ, death is no longer the end. Because after death, there is resurrection. Well, boys and girls, thanks very much for listening to the online assembly. Have a lovely holiday, stay well and safe, and have a very happy Easter. And I do hope at one point soon uh, we'll be able to see each other face to face. But until then, stay well. Bye bye.